taking my chances along with my Hello everyone, I'm Cheryl. And I'm Charles. And we are CNC RBD yet. And we wanted to share some information with you today. We are already heading out to Yosemite National Park. And we wanted to tell you all that you need a reservation if you're planning to go to Yosemite. We left a couple days ago to go to Yosemite and found out that we needed a reservation and we weren't able to get a reservation that day. So we came home, replanned, and here we are getting ready today and now we have a reservation. And another thing we wanted to share with you is the entrance fees for most of the national parks is about $35 to drive into the park. So what we did was... Yeah, as far as the uh, National Park Pass. So it's $80 and uh, it's well worth it. So we've been a different, what, about four different parks. This is our fourth park. And so uh, definitely worth uh, $80 for sure. Yeah, and when you get to the park, they just... Let you in. Let you in, so <laughs> it's real easy. <laughs> and another thing we wanted to share that we've learned from previous parks is to make sure and pack lots of water and snacks because the parks are large and it's hard to get to eateries and they're, they're limited and they're expensive and they're expensive so we grabbed this handy dandy pack at Walmart where we can take our water and snacks and we pack a cooler and we take along as well and one more thing we wanted to add was that you should layer your clothing and take a jacket because with a different elevation it can be pretty chilly and sometimes it gets pretty warm so if you have some layers on you can take off and make sure and take a jacket but we are all excited because ready. we're ready and we're on our way to Yosemite Yosemite National Park has five entrances and it covers over 748,000 acres the elevation is between 2100 feet to 13,000 feet and about 4 million visitors a year visit Yosemite Park. Yosemite is internationally recognized for its granite cliffs, glaciers, clear streams, giant sequoia trees, lakes, mountains, meadows, and beautiful waterfalls. Our first stop was Half Dome, which reaches 8,839 feet. When I walked over to the wall and looked out, I was really speechless. This is such breathtaking views. It's just amazing. If you haven't visited Yosemite, it's a must. We took out our little red cooler and had a little picnic and I was wondering why nobody else was picnicking in the park. And then I read that you shouldn't do this because it attracts bears and especially a red cooler. But we had no idea until the end of the day. Yosemite's granite cliffs are over 130 million years. Their giant sequoias are roughly 3,000 years. Just incredible. Our next stop was Glacier Point. Glacier Point overlooks Yosemite Valley. Yosemite Valley is seven miles and it's where visitors spend most of their time. You can see Yosemite Valley down below. This is the very famous rock that you see in YouTube videos with people hanging over the edge of it and really cool pictures. 
I didn't realize until I heard from the park ranger that it's like totally forbidden to go take photos from that rock. I wasn't going to do it anyway, so I was good with that. The photo the park ranger is holding is a summertime event that began in 1872 and lasted for almost a hundred years in which burning embers were spilled from the top of Glacier Point in Yosemite National Park to the valley almost 3,000 feet below. From a distance it appeared as a glowing waterfall. Heading down to Yosemite Valley, which was actually an hour ride from Glacier Point down into Yosemite Valley. Happy to be doing this drive in our Jeep and not our big rig because these roads are narrow, winding, steep, yikes. This is our first glance at the stunning El Capitan. El Capitan rises about 3,000 feet from the base of the summit and is one of the most popular rock climbing destinations in the world. It's absolutely stunning to see. And you guessed it, we were not going rock climbing. We are almost down to Yosemite Valley where we plan to spend some time in the beautiful meadows. Yosemite Valley's elevation is 4,000 feet. Ta-da! Is that beautiful or what? This graph on the bridge shows the, the height of the water and the year that the river was at those height. It's incredible how it has receded over the years. Some of Yosemite's natural sounds. These meadows are so beautiful. You feel like a little kid, like you can just run around. This church is Yosemite's chapel and it's the oldest structure in Yosemite Valley. The first service was in 1879. The stunning Awani Hotel opened its doors July 16, 1927. We were thrilled to see that the red carpet was laid out for us, but then we realized everybody else was using it as well. Many presidents have stayed at the Awani Hotel, with the most recent being Barack Obama. We were fortunate enough to be able to get into the restaurant without any reservation and have some drinks and snacks there, so that was a real treat for us. This hotel is so popular, you have to 
reserve at least one year in advance. And the room start, the average room starts at about $500 a night. An interesting fact about the Awani Hotel in 1943, between 1943 and 1950, the US Navy took over the building for a hospital for those wounded during World War II. And a fun fact is that Awani Elevator and Lounge was used as inspiration for the Overlook Hotel and one of my favorite movies, The Shining. Leaving the hotel, we saw this beautiful blue woodpecker. It was getting late and we started making our way out of Yosemite Park. At least so we thought. Heading out of the park, we saw an opening next to the river where we could stop and have one more look at the waterfall. We decided to have one more picnic before we left this beautiful park. But just a few minutes into it, somebody stopped by to tell us, be careful for the bears. The sun reflecting on the waterfall created these beautiful rainbow colors. Sadly, there's also these scenes from previous fires into the park. The only good thing is it leaves room for new growth.
and then of course there's also the logging industry because there will always be a need for work.